Hello students, this is your instructor John Medulla with another screencast. This one is for the week 5 exercise. Uh, it really is just an exercise uh, about making different kinds of bitmap images. So as you can see here, what you're going to need to do is a graphic of a line art, uh, grayscale 8-bit, and then color 24-bit. So we go here in Photoshop. Now if I open up just a regular photo, I can accomplish two of them real quickly. If I go to Image, Mode, if I stop here for a second, I see that it's RGB color, which is fine, came from a camera, and then 8 bits of a channel. So I don't have 24 bits as an option, but I can go to 32 bits. Alright? This is kind of like for high dynamic range, or HDR, if you want to look into that more. I've got this, I'm just going to go to File, Save As, uh, J, well, see JPEG's not an option here. So I'm going to go with TIFF, you can see HDR, high dynamic range, is an option. Go with TIFF, or you can go into Photoshop. Uh, either is fine. Once I've got that, I'm just going to save this as um, maybe week 5 32 bit. Or if you have 24 bit as an option, save it as 24 bit. Just save it on the desktop there. Then another thing, okay, get all these bit depth options 32 bit. So here I can go to 24 bit. Support 24 uh, yes. And then I'll just hit OK. Now that I've done that, that takes care of this one, color 24-bit. Let's go back to this one, and I want to try uh, image mode again. And this time I'm going to go to grayscale, like that. And I'm going to change it to just 8-bit channel, because that's what it wants in the assignment. And I can hit OK if I see the HDR conversion. In other words, saying it used to be HDR, or high dynamic range, now you don't want it to be what do you want to do? And I'll just hit OK at this point. And then I will go File, Save As. This time I have many more options. Um, I can go with JPEG, let's say this time. And I'll just call it Week 5 Gray. And save that. Oops. Yeah, Week 5 Gray, that's fine. Save that to the desktop. And then hit OK on that. Now for the line art, what you might want to do is, line art really just means that it's black or white. There's not, like we currently see now, where it's um, shades of gray all, all the way between black and white. So what we can do is, I'm going to go, well the quickest way to do it will be go to Image, Adjustments, and this time I'm going to go to Threshold. And you can see there, it goes to black and white, almost like it came off a bad photocopy, and if I go you know, I don't want to go all the way to the left, that'll be just solid white, or all the way to the right, that'll be solid black. Somewhere in between there, though, until I can see, like, yeah, that's kind of what I want. I know it looks crude, or maybe even scary, but this is often used as an effect uh, on purpose. You know, and you might not even want to use all of this. You might think to yourself, wow, look at the nice texture that that, that creates right there. Let's say I hit OK on that. I think his face looks kind of cute, too. That's my son. If I zoom in on this, you can truly tell that it's liner because I can see that I only have white and black. There are no gray uh, pixels here at all. So often, if it was grayscale, if it was smooth, I would see that you know there would be different shades of gray in between the white areas and the black areas. But this is just white and black. Now for this one, once you've done this, don't just leave it at grayscale. What you can do is go Image Mode Bitmap. I mean, you can leave it grayscale, but I would rather go Image Mode Bitmap. And the resolution of that, uh, that's fine. You can hit OK. Whatever the resolution that was is fine. And then I will go File, Save As. So bitmap was the color mode. All right. The file mode, I want to see if it is TIFF, which is just off the screen there. So I'll, I'll call this Week 5 Line Art. And save that. And change that to OK. So now I've done that. Now I can submit these individually or zip them together in one uh, into the assignment Dropbox for the week five exercise about creating your own graphics. That's all I got. If you have any questions, be happy to answer them. See you later, students. Goodbye.